Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today uh, I thought I'd show you some of the exercise I've been doing at home recently for the last two or three weeks when we're all in uh, quarantine. I've been getting some questions on uh, how to keep fit for squash, so I decided to post this for you. Um, they're not only good for squash, they're good for, for everything, yeah? It's a full body workout. So I normally do uh, one leg exercise followed by an arm exercise followed by uh, an ab or core exercise. Uh, I hope you join me. As a warm up, we, uh, we always need to warm up. Uh, I bought this elastic band and uh, this is a very lovely exercise to warm up. Is you're gonna, you're gonna stand like this, you're gonna step into the band with two feet, uh, feet a um, little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna lift the elastic band over your head Rest it behind your neck and you're gonna do 15 squats like this. Yeah, it's a lovely way to warm up if you don't feel like training. Like I'm not feeling like training at all today, but this is a lovely way to get started. Yeah, it's not too hard. Second exercise is push up with an elastic band. Elastic band. I'm gonna put it around my shoulders like this and I'm gonna do three times ten push-ups like this and I'm gonna go for three times ten all right Third exercise, with the elastic band, you're gonna do some abs, some crunches. You're gonna, you're gonna tie the elastic band around something which is low in your living room and doesn't move. So, hands here for balance. And we're gonna make eight crunches and really pulling the knees to the chest. And then I'm gonna do eight sideways, left, right, left, right. All right, this is a beauty. It's a beauty of an exercise. The elastic band really makes it hard and uh, it's a fun one too. Squats with a kettlebell. You buy one of these, they're fantastic. You hold the kettlebell like this, make sure it's resting against your forearm and not really to your wrist. It hurts less or maybe even your biceps. Yeah, so I hold it like this in one arm. I stand with my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And from here, I'm going to make squats. Okay, change arm. Keep the back nice and straight. This is what I do after the squat with the kettlebell. I grab the medicine ball. Medicine ball and I do a more explosive exercise. Next arm exercise, the single arm military press uh, with a kettlebell. So you're gonna hold the kettlebell like this. This is a great exercise, not only for shoulder strength, but also for grip strength. Yeah, so the difficulty now is to make sure the kettlebell stays upright like this. And I'm gonna press up very slowly to 90 degrees, up. I really do it slow and con con controlled. lovely thing about this exercise is you're actually really training the core too. So it, it seems like only an arm exercise, but you're really 
trying to brace through the core to make sure you have a strong foundation. Important to do this one slow and controlled because uh, we don't want the kettlebell smashing onto our heads, do we? Next exercise is the Russian twist. Russian twist is an ab exercise where we're gonna move sideways like this and you can do this with a kettlebell. Okay, gonna lift the feet a little bit and from here we're gonna move sideways. quite a nice superset so you do one with the weight with the kettlebell with a heavy kettlebell and then you do one uh, with a lighter medicine ball and try to do it more explosive yeah. next exercise we're uh, back to the legs again so how about the Bulgarian split squat one of my favorite exercises um, you, you put your back leg on uh, a chair or something like a table or something which is a little bit higher. You just put your arms in tabletop position and you do it very slowly, you go down and up. Make sure you don't move forwards too much, but you literally go down in between your legs. Yeah, so like this. Very hard exercise, don't be fooled. Very hard, also for stabilizing, especially if you keep the weights up above your head. Make sure your arms are to totally stretched. So the Bulgarian split squat, we follow it up with a power exercise, which is similar to the Bulgarian split squat, but then explosive. So you're gonna get a light weight, four kg, two kgs is fine, three kg, it doesn't matter. The weight doesn't actually matter in this exercise that much. So from here, I'm gonna, this is my starting position, like neutral, uh, a little bit higher than the shoulder. And from here, I'm gonna jump into the split squat position and back. And jump and back. Okay guys, still alive, um, last arm exercise, um, the inverted row or the moderated row, I never know what to call it, but it's a lovely exercise for the shoulders. You're gonna pull an elastic band or you can also do this with a weight on a bench, yeah? You're gonna pull like this and you're gonna make sure you train your shoulder and back muscles. So it's very hard actually to only make the shoulders do the work instead of no upper body movement no head movement yeah you're gonna go for three times 15 I'm gonna finish with a back exercise yeah some back strengthening you're just gonna lie on the floor on your tummy you're gonna have your arms spread out wide and we're just gonna lift do like little airplane moves All right, guys, this was my workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still alive and uh, keep fit. Good luck.